Hello. I'd like to share with you how I was able to reset my Honeywell gas water heater controller when it had the seven flash, uh, seven flashes error message indicating a gas control or a valve failure. So this solution worked for me, but your mileage may vary. A couple of caveats. Look, I'm not a professional service technician. I'm a homeowner and figured this out with the help of the Ream service technician. The data presented is provided with no guarantee of fitness or purpose for purpose or accuracy. Data subject to change without notice and use of this information presented herein is at your own risk and discretion. When in doubt, call a manufacturer or maybe hire a professional. Procedure is very straightforward. So this is for the Honeywell WV8840C1513 OEM part. You turn the control knob clockwise to the very hot position and wait 10 seconds. When I did this, my furnace ignited, uh, but I continued the procedure uh, to make sure things were cleared out. Now you turn the control knob counterclockwise to the hot position and wait another 10 seconds. In this case, the main burner remained on. Finally, uh, turn the control knob counterclockwise all the way to the pilot position and wait 10 seconds. And in my case, the main burner extinguished as it should. According to tech support, uh, if the LED flashes normally, in this case, it's just a, uh, a one flash by a pause, by the next flash, etc., uh, then things should be good. If you still get an error indicated by multiple flashes in sequence, uh, then it would indicate a faulty controller. A couple of notes and references. The Residio company now sells and manufactures the Honeywell Home gas water heater valves. Uh, at this, that's as of February 2nd, 2022. And the controller appears to be an OEM part only, and it's manufactured specifically for Ream. OEM part numbers start with WV, well, the aftermarket parts on the Residio site that I could see in their uh, selector uh, begin with WT. So you can order the replacement for this valve, by the way, directly from Ream. It's SP20832C, and you can find it at parts.ream.com. And it looks very similar to one of the aftermarket parts, uh, but uh, the parts, there's no exact correlation on the data that I found on Ream's site. So you may want to call Residio Tech Support to verify that. Uh, you'll find it, the, you'll, you'll find the selector chart at that reference below. Uh, there's obviously no guarantee. Um, it may not matter because this is a pretty, pretty old water heater from 2014. Um, so uh, you may have a, a newer part number. Uh, I believe Home Depot also sells these Ream water heaters, uh, so that might provide some additional clues to look at one of those uh, in the store. Okay, here we go. Here's the video of doing the procedure. So we've got seven flashes. In the procedure, I'll start a timer. To clear it out is apparently, according to the Ream technical support desk, turn it to very hot, wait for 10 seconds, so I've got a stopwatch. And then for some strange reason, I can hear my gas come on and it's ignited. I right, saw so this more than 10. I'll go ahead and do the procedure anyway and turn it to hot and wait for 10 seconds. So wait till the watch gets to probably about, what, 37 or so. Okay, and then turn it back to pilot. Go back to pilot. And interestingly, and this is new, it just started working. So let's see what happens now. Okay, well that's pretty odd. All right, so I guess the procedure didn't work as expected. But the fact that I did get it to light up was a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and light it up and see what happens. 
after the thermal pile heats up. And we'll see what happens. It looks like it may just be an issue with the thermostat if it goes on and very hot. But this tank is cold. It's not heated up at all. And so while it was sitting on the C setting, uh, it was not, not lighting up. So I'll go ahead and let it sit. We'll see what happens. All right, so now what we see after waiting a little bit, I set the thing to very hot. The furnace came on, so it heated up the thermopile. And now it seems to be blipping, blipping along normally, stating that it's got normal operation. See, now it's just one blip, and before we had seven blips. So, you know, by hook or by crook, we got the right outcome. And I'll try and uh, I'll see if I can characterize that by changing the, you know, the, um, the temperature setting from very hot to C to B to A or hot, and, you know, and see, you know, how that works. So problem solved. Go figure. Brief epilogue. For those of you that were looking carefully, as I was moving the knob earlier from very hot, we saw two flashes indicating a low thermopile voltage, but it seemed inconsistent. I went ahead about an hour later and have turned the water heater to pilot to make sure that the thermopile is uh, working, um, you know, just from the pilot. It appears to be, and so I'm not going to worry about it. Earlier, this water heater was totally cold since it was off for some time, and I don't know if that had anything to do with that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call that good. And, uh, well, if there's another problem later, we'll fix it when. So the conclusions from all this, I'll, granted it's a bit overkill, just try the reset procedure. It's pretty simple, easy to do. And then ignore any intermediate error codes. They're not really going to tell you anything useful. Only the engineer that, that designed it really knows what those mean. Uh, and make the final observations when the tank is warm. Hopefully you'll have a good result. Best of luck, and thanks for watching.